Hello traders, it's ETM Effects, and in this lesson we're going to cover institutional order flow and how we can use institutional order flow to determine our daily bias using the daily purge. Make sure you like and subscribe. What is institutional order flow? Institutional order flow is the dominant order type in a specific period of the market. And the order type is buy or sell, obviously. So basically you're looking at the market at a specific time and you're seeing which orders are coming in more frequently from the institutions. Are, they, are the institutions buying more or they're selling more? Order flow is a short term macro direction of the market. So basically it's a small part of a bigger picture. Macro means bigger. We're not looking at the micros, lower time frames. We're looking at the bigger time frame, but we're looking at specific points of that higher time frame. We identified that the directional period in segments of one week to two months. Anything longer than that span would be considered as fundamental trends and will be categorized as seasonal flow. Ideally, you're looking at daily swings. So this is our daily time frame, and this is what we consider order flow. This specific motion here, this would be a sell order flow. Here would be a sell order flow. Here would be a buy. Here would be a buy. And what do you see from first glance? Obviously, let's say we're looking at Let's look at the sell order flow. Here you see more red candles. That's one clue. Here you see more red candles. Here you see more green candles. Here you see more green candles. But not just that, the strength of the candles. Here you see that the red candles are much bigger than the green candles. The red candles much bigger than the green candles. Here you see the green candles much bigger than the red candles. So that's one point. So what you're looking at is it's a daily swing, as you can see. This is a swing and this would be an order flow. So our uh, order flow is always de determined by our swing. So once the swing occurs, you can expect to anticipate the order flow. And in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to use the daily purge to anticipate your daily order flow, which would then lead on for you to determine your daily bias. So one more in chart example to avoid confusion. As you can see, this would be our bearish order flow. And you can see the start was 1st of June. The end was August 18. So now from August 18, all the way up here, this was a bullish order flow. So it started off as August 18 and it finished in 21st of October. So from the 21st of October, all the way down here, this was bearish which was December. So like I explained, a lot of times it takes around two months. Anything more than that, in my opinion, a lot of times is a fundamental trend, which would be a seasonal tendency, something like this. Something from 8th of March all the way to the highest peak. This would be your fundamental trend. Why? Because it lasted all the way from March all the way to June the end of June basically and this would be your fundamental trend but this is not what we look for at least in this lesson I'll make a whole nother lesson on this in this lesson we're focusing on these daily swings what is a daily swing these are daily swings and it's basically a process of the market moving from the premium level back to external if it's a if it's a bearish trend if it's a bullish trend you're moving from what discount all the way to external liquidity, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And these swings, this is what we call daily swings. And this is our order flow. So what is a purge? A purge is another name for stop hunt or a liquidity grab. It comes from stop losses game purge being liquidated. We can use the daily purge to anticipate potential order flow. So how can the daily purge help us determine the order flow? So what happens once the purge occurs and how does the purge occur? It's a close outside of the range and then a close back inside the range. I covered this in my previous videos. So it would be a close, a candle close above the range for then price to come back and close below the range. Two separate candles. That's not a wick. A wick would be a FTC price is more likely to blow through that. So once you determine and confirm your purge, you're expecting what? In this instance, a bearish order flow. Why? Because the buyers were trapped. So once the buyers got trapped, you expect a bearish order flow until when? Until your discounted area. 
Why until your discount area? Because this area is unknown. Why is it unknown? Because price can always get to this area and start reacting. It can go bullish from this area because it would be cheaper to buy in discount for institutions or it can blow right through and sell orders can pile on or it could always bounce twice, come back here, stop hunt and continue lower. This becomes a dangerous area. But what we know for a fact is the journey from the purge all the way to your danger zone is a higher probability. In this instance, it would be bearish. And how can bearish order flow help you in your daily buys? Like we said before, when it's a bearish order flow, what are you more than likely to see? Bearish candles. They're way more frequent. Of course, you're going to have a few bullish candles, but let's say majority of the bearish candle, let's say in a specific swing is 70%. That's the 70% chance that you have of determining your bias. And trading is a game of numbers, probabilities. And the probabilities are in your favor when you confirm the order flow. And that way, you can determine the bias. And I covered on my website a few ways of determining daily biases. This is not the only way, but this is what I decided to cover here because I think it's the easiest one to understand, right? So let's go into in chart example real quick. So here we have your JPY daily time frame. So what do we have here? This is the daily time frame. This swing has been taken and price came back into the range, forcing a what? A purge. So what do we know now? We're anticipating bullish order flow. Until when though? Pull out your last swing all the way to the purge. And now you can determine your danger level. This would be your danger level. So now, what you're anticipating is the bullish journey. This is your bullish order flow. So starting on from here, your bias is bullish. Now let's see. You have one bullish day, two bullish day, one bearish. So you'd be wrong here. Bullish, bullish, bullish. So how many bullish days did you have? One, two, three. Four, five. You had five bullish days and one bearish day. So the probability was in your favor. So what happens when price gets to the danger level? Of course, going back to buying low, selling high, you should expect a sell off. But on a daily time frame, it's a little bit tricky. And I would advise you to do that. I would advise you, especially as a beginner, if you know how to gauge certain things, you can most definitely figure out the direction from here. But for this lesson's sake, let's just focus on our daily purges. What would you wait now? You would wait for price to maybe purge this level, this swing, or maybe purge this swing and get back in the range. You're, you're looking for a daily purge before you make anything else. What would you do if, if the chart, if you wake up, let's say one day and you want to trade and the chart is in this situation, you would just wait until you see a daily, daily purge. And then once you see a daily purge, you have your bias again, unless you like trading without a bias, then Good luck, sir. Okay, price broke the swing and came back. Let's see, did it break the swing? No, it did not. As you can see, price only wicked through the swing. So let's monitor this. Okay, now it closed above and came back below. So what do we know now? This is your range. You had your purge. This would be your danger zone. And where was your purge? Your purge was right here. Even though it's not a convincing purge, you guys know I covered this on my website, like purge strength, but this is this is not a very strong purge because we want a solid, strong body pose. But let's see. I had one bearish day, one bullish, bullish, bearish, bearish, bearish. Excellent. So here we had one, two, three, four. You had four bearish days and two bullish. So the probability was still in your favor. You're still were more right about the bias than wrong. And the danger zone here. So you can see this is what we call the danger zone because price is more likely to react from. Why? Because it's our discounted area. Now price can always hit up here or break through here. 
a trading order flow like this, this would be unknown. Of course, there, there are few ways of determining where price is going to go from your danger zone, but we're not going to cover this today. But let's just focus on the daily purge. So this is example of the daily purge, but in a tricky price action scenario. So price action is not always ideal. As you guys can see here, this is, this is in my opinion, like ideal price action, right? It's clear, but sometimes it goes into a higher time frame base, which is basically a compression and price gets a little bit tricky to read, but let me show you how you would navigate this using the daily purges. So what you do is you find your, once the purge occurs, your second step is to find your danger zone. Your danger zone would be this the swing that formed the purge. So it would be right here. And this would be your danger zone. So now that you have your purge and you have your danger zone, you know that the order flow is bearish until this zone, right? You had your one candle, which was directly going to your danger zone. So let's see what happens next. Again, what do you do when price gets to this level? You just wait, have patience. Patience makes you a better trader. Duh. Okay, price broke the range and closed below. Closed below this range. As you can see, we had swing here, price broke. So let's wait. Price broke this swing and came back into the range. What was the last? Now we have this purge. So what was the last swing that caused that caused this purge? You could go here or you could use this one. I like using the clearest looking one. So when it's a peak by peak, I mean it has a low on each side. So it's more of a swing like this. And I would determine this as a peak, right? So you have your danger zone now which is right here. So what do we know? We know that we have a bullish order flow until this area. One day bullish, two day bullish, one bearish, bullish again, bullish again, bullish again, bearish. So here you had three, six, you had six bullish days and two red candles until price broke, broke, the range below so it never made it to your danger zone but you were still correct in your buy so this is what i mean by imperfect price action even though it doesn't get to your specific area and it doesn't move specifically from premium to discount internal to external the the daily purge is really powerful because it will still give you your daily bias percentage so let's wait for this swing to break or this swing to break so we can determine our next daily purge. Okay, price broke this level. Let's wait. What we're doing now, we're just waiting. Price broke and came back into the range. We have our purge. And my bad guys, this might be a slow lesson but this is the only way to explain this, in my opinion, right? This is a slow process. To me, I wouldn't even look at this level anymore because it doesn't even have that much time to go lower. Because look, the danger zone is already right here. And the fact that the danger zone is so close, it just nullifies the trade for me. Okay, price broke the range. Let's see if it'll come back. Still continues lower. Okay, price came back into the range. Let's determine our zones. Nullified again. Why? Because there's not that much range for it to cover. For you to just expect this small movement, you're more than likely to have a wrong bias. Just not enough ground to cover. So let's continue waiting. Okay, 
Okay, so here you have this swing was taken. So now we have our purge and let's find our area. And this is what I mean, guys, by uh, this is what I mean by uh, imperfect price action, right? So our danger zone is right here. And what do we know now? That we have a bearish bias all the way until this zone. We had one bullish day, now one bearish, another bearish, bearish, bearish. So we had one, two, three, four. We had four bearish days and one bullish. So it still worked out in our favor probability wise. So again, sometimes price doesn't behave in the way you want it to behave, but you could still navigate through it by having patience and understanding the daily perch. So make sure guys you like, share, subscribe, and comment and let me know what do you guys want me to cover next. Thank you.